Kiss me, I'm left-handed. <laughs> oh, that's a classic. <laughs> what? Are you a lefty struggling in a right-handed world? Well, count your blessings, because if you were born at any other time in history, your life could have been way worse. In the Middle Ages, being left-handed was considered a sign of the devil. Satan himself was believed to be a lefty. If a person showed preference for using their left hand, they were immediately suspected of witchcraft or demonic possession. I am that very witch. Best case, they were forced to use their right hand. Worst case, they were subjected to torture and execution. Things weren't better for lefties living in other civilizations. In ancient Egypt, the left hand was associated with impurity because it was used for wiping after going to the bathroom. The Egyptians even had a hieroglyphic symbol that depicted a person with their left hand behind their back. I can't figure out this last symbol. What does it look like? It's a, uh, a bird, a stork. A uh, manifest. <laughs> Yes, I see. People in India held similar beliefs, and it was forbidden to use the left hand for eating or touching other people. Yikes. Why? In ancient Rome, being left-handed was viewed as a bad omen. The Latin word for left is sinister, which is where we get the English word for something evil. The Romans believed that anything done with the left hand was unlucky, so left-handed people were often ostracized from society. You will find yourself in gladiator school very quickly! We welcome behavior like that. It's even believed that the handshake was invented as a way for people to show that they weren't carrying a weapon in their right hand. That's why left-handed people were seen as so distrustful. They could still use their sword with their left. I'm not left-handed either. On the other hand, there were some ancient cultures where lefties were celebrated. For example, in ancient Mesopotamia, left-handedness was a symbol of strength, and left-handed warriors were highly valued. In some Native American tribes, it was seen as a sign of spiritual power, and left-handed people were believed to possess special abilities. Fast forward to the 20th century and... things still weren't great for left-handed folks. It was viewed as a sign of mental illness, and doctors and psychologists in the United States and Europe attempted to treat it like an actual disorder. Children were trained to use their right hand using a variety of uncomfortable methods, including electroshock therapy or by tying their left hand behind their back. If you have left-handed grandparents, it's very likely that they have some first-hand experiences to share. Thankfully, the stigma around left-handedness has lessened over time, and it's now seen as a natural trait, rather than something that needs to be corrected. Once they were allowed to thrive, lefties started taking matters into their own hands. Did you know that five out of the last eight US presidents have been left-handed? Lefties may still face challenges in today's world, from awkwardly using scissors to struggling with playing guitar, but they can finally take pride in their uniqueness and embrace their right to be different.